Okay, this video is part of a series, and today we're going to be demonstrating the code from the last video where we're going to take a radio and transmit text to an, from one computer to another and display it in a nice GUI format on the output computer. So uh, I've got my little, uh, you know, two-way radio here, and i got a little audio port on the top here, so I'm just going to take my uh, eighth-inch jack here and go ahead and... <sighs> you got to be kidding me! It's not a standard eighth-inch jack! I'm going to have to get an adapter. Amazon.com, 2.5 mm, male adapter to female adapter, $8? What am I, rich? Let's try this again. eBay.com, okay, 2.5 mm, male plug to 3.5 mm, female plug. Buy now. Lowest plus shipping, 78 cents, free shipping. Oh yeah, that's the one. Ooh, something from China. Hong Kong. Why the heck did I order these? Okay, got some free time, worked on some videos. Uh, how come I never finished those ones on the radio transmissions? Uh, I should get on that. Uh, hi, welcome. Uh, you know, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the links in the play in the description of this video for a playlist. And today uh, we're going to continue on with our radio transmissions. We're going to go ahead and try to transmit from one computer to another using our GUI interface, uh, using some radios here. So we just need this, and we need a wire to hooks into our audio port on our computer, and one to the radio. So just go ahead and wait a minute. Wow, it's like deja vu. Wow, it's like deja vu. It's kind of weird that it's been three or four months and I'm still wearing the same outfit. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I got these adapters, you know, under a buck each. You know, go, go ahead and plug that into the radio there. Make sure it's down nice and good. And then we'll take our eighth inch jack, also known as a 3.5 millimeter jack. Plug it in there. And now I can plug this into the input or output of my computer, depending on whether I'm transmitting or receiving. So I've got my laptop here. Uh, for this example, I'm just transmitting from one room to another. You know, not even not even 30 feet. Uh, but if you watch this, you know, series, the first video in this series, not counting the preview videos, I went down to the end of my street, uh, which is about a quarter of a mile, and it worked fine. Um, these radios here are supposed to be able to transmit. I think the packaging said. Uh, 21 miles in the country, 4 miles in the city, which you're never actually going to get. Uh, I'm somewhere, I'm kind of in the country for where I am, and, uh, but I tell you why I got these. These were a gift from my wife. Uh, for when we go on road trips and we're on road trips with friends or family in their other cars, you know, instead of, you know, if, you know oh, we're going to get off at this rest stop, instead of trying to call them or text them, you each have a radio and you Hey, we're going to get off the next rest stop, you know. So uh, I just went on a road trip recently with these, and um, I found that they, we'd probably get about a mile and a half, two miles to where we could actually communicate to each other, uh, which is good enough. But again, for this scenario, it all depends on what equipment you have. That has nothing to do with the software. You have better radio equipment. You have longer range. Uh, so I think these were probably... 20 to 30 dollars if that radios uh, but it's good for testing so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna plug this one into the audio i'm gonna make this one the uh the client so like this is the truck driving around where's my audio plugs it's on the front of my tough book here or not my tough book my um think pad here and i'm gonna put that into the microphone slot i'm gonna turn that on there we go make sure this one's on Usually they beep when they turn on, but since I'm plugged in, you didn't hear that. Make sure they're both on the same channel, you know, and that channel's not being used when I was driving around. Obviously, we're not the only ones, because twice on our road trip, which was just a couple of days, we were on the interstate, and we had other people talking on our channel, which was very confusing. <laughs> uh, but you switch to another channel, make sure you're on the same channel. Now I'm going to go plug this one into uh, my desktop computer and make that the dispatch computer. Okay. So I got a wire here, the output there, into my adapter on the radio here. 
I'm in the Server 2 folder from the GitHub page, which again, I'll link in the description of the video, and we went over this software in the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my server, which is actually already running, and then I am going to, oh, I'm sorry. I don't need to start the server on this one. This is the, the server is actually supposed to be running on the client machine. That's kind of confusing. Uh, but whatever, it's running, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna start off my uh, dispatch script here. Now in your audio settings, make sure you check the correct output, so it's going out that headphone jack or whatever output you're using from your computer. And then at this point, we can start transmitting. This is a test. Now at this point, you may wanna unplug the headphone jack on this just to make sure you're receiving the signal properly uh, and you can hear it. Now that I've heard the transmission, I can go ahead and hook up the adapter again to the computer and I can go ahead and start up the client side. Okay, now remember, since you're plugging into wires, you're not gonna hear those tones yourself. That should come through, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on the dispatch, and then I will. we should see the output here. So again, I'm doing this from room to room in my house, which isn't very far, but I've tested it up to about a quarter of a mile. Um, but depending on your radio uh, hardware, you know, you can, should be able to send this pretty far as long as you're getting a halfway decent clear signal. So uh, be sure to check out this code. And again, I'm using these radios here, but any way you can transmit audio, you should be able to send these signals, you know, through phone lines if you want, radio here. Um, and, uh, you know, these, these are nice little radios. Like I said, I, I got them as a gift, but I'm thinking they're probably 20, 30 bucks for the, the set. It's nice. They, they have rechargeable uh, double A's in there, and they can charge through a USB port here, so it's easy to plug it into a car charger like I did on my trip. Uh, but in the next video, I haven't done this yet, um, but I got this a very cheap, uh, under $10 FM transmitter. Now, in reality, these little transmitters are set are designed to play music through your, your car radio. Um, so you, you plug this into your phone or MP3 player and you set it to a certain channel, then you set your radio to a certain channel, and they're only designed to go a couple of feet. I'm, uh, I don't remember the range when I bought it. I'm sure it's less than 30 feet. But it's going to be an example, just another example of being able to transmit something through radio waves. Uh, so I know I can transmit. I know I can record audio using a uh, DSL uh, or a, yeah, RTL dongle, a DSR dongle uh, uh, from radio waves. Uh, I haven't tried um, real time piping the audio into mini modem, uh, but I'm going to try that. And if it works out, the next video should be on that. So we'll use a cheap uh, SDR dongle, which I paid 20 bucks for years ago, but I think you can get them for around $10 now. And then this, which uh, got off Amazon uh, for, uh, someone else bought it uh, for me to use. I wanna say that it was um, probably about $10, but I bet you can get them cheaper on Amazon if you don't mind waiting. And, uh, but just as an example, if you wanted to transmit information from one computer to another. So, I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. You can support me over there, the support section, where you can support me through PayPal, or there is my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melex1000. Link to that in the description as well. That would be great if you could support me there. Every little bit helps. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Sharing's great more views the better. I thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Is it weird that I look at the screen a lot rather than the lens? I, I, when, I, when I review these videos when I'm editing them, like, uh, I'm kind of looking off to the side because I know I'm looking at myself in the screen rather than at the lens. Anyway. <laughs> Try to look at the lens. The lens. Deja vu.